I originally learned this trick from Scam School, and I'll show you the presentation that they gave. So here's how the sad joker trick was originally presented. Hold on to this. I have a very ordinary, you can't even inspect it, very ordinary four of hearts looking down at the ground. Ordinary? Yeah. Did you guys catch that? That's ordinary. <laughs> Underneath this sheet, you'll feel something a little bit strange. If you weren't my wife, I'd say nothing that your husband needs to worry about. But since you are my wife, I really have to worry about it. Sorry, bad joke. I'm trying to make this entertaining because I don't think this... That's too much dead time. But anyways, it was presented as... Ta-da! Yeah, that does look pretty cool. But instead, let's learn how to do my version of this trick, the sad joker trick. So you've seen the original version. Now you're going to see mine. But first, a little history about why I changed it. I wanted to be able to walk around with it. I want a better story for it. If you want to see other people's reactions to this, I got a couple of links here. Here's with uh, Jarek120. I think you guys might have heard of him. Here is with an actor from the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. Here is uh, with uh, Snape, an actual wizard. Check those out, then come back, see the tutorial. In order to make the sad joker, you will need two things. A guaranteed joker. The colored one doesn't work because his neck doesn't line up. And you'll need a sharp object. To make the joker, you start by folding the card in half. One direction. Make it fairly equal. Does it have to be exact? No, it does not. With this HD camera, you can tell that wasn't perfect, but it's going to be good enough. If you're wondering what that noise is, that's my ferret who's in his cage who says, let me out! So, fold it to the center, fold it to the center. See if I can speed this camera motion up. Fold it backwards too. This will make it much more pliable and easier to do the trick. So, four equal parts. Again, four equal parts. Putting the pieces to the center. See how I can tell that's the center using the crease as the obvious line. And fold it again to the center. And here's where you decapitate the Joker. Ever wanted to be a rich king who had the power to say off with his head? Now's your chance. Slicing along, trying to make your best to keep it parallel. Keep your fingers away from the knife while you're cutting. We're going to cut it again right here. You're cutting it down to the halfway mark. You're basically cutting out the picture of the biker. Cut that little end so it comes loose. We got this here. One more cut. So I would like you to go back and watch my videos. So that's the best way for you to learn the pattern. So, in order to teach you how to do the trick, I always like to show the sad joker, so show that the head's been cut off, which helps me emphasize that this side is down. Now that I have the card cut out, in order to do the trick, the same way that you do it with this, uh, start with the outside. Notice how these are the furthest out points, you fold them in. Next furthest out points would be right here. You fold them in. Then there's obviously these parts which are longer. You fold them in. When you're at this point, if your hand is so kind to move, you can feel this part's not going anywhere. It's connected here. So it tends to want to stay that way. On the other side, you got all this paper. You're flipping this paper over so put the heavy side up and I'll roll around and your sad joker trick is done. It's basically self-working once you make the gimmick and people love the trick and that's me sharing it with you. I hope you guys like that. I hope you guys go out and do this trick yourself and my name is Patrick. Enjoy. And just because I know you guys will like it, here is me teaching Jarek120 how to do the trick.
how to do the sad joker. That good of a trick, yeah. He requested it. Dork out. No, honestly, I was really excited to teach him. You can probably tell. I don't think I breathe once. Anyways, watch it. Can I get you to hold on to this? Yes. It's a sad joker for a couple reasons. One, I cut his head off, as you can see. It's true. Uh, two, he's in the presence of Evan Cloyd, a.k.a. Jared 120, a.k.a. How to Disturb Reality. He's stuck looking at socks. That's not Oh, right. that's not good. <laughs> he's not happy. But I know origami. Do you know origami? No. Well, I also know magic. Well, with a magical flick, I can help out the Joker and let him look at this. Oh, wow. Celebrity. Nice. Yeah, so you got to show me how you did it. Happily. And you guys may get to see this later. Uh, so, I usually don't make him unhappy because that shortens the life of the card. It falls apart after like two or three uses. So I'm going to redo the sadness. So if I can get you to hold on again. Okay, okay. Actually, I'll hold on. Or, yeah. Show uh, Start from the outside. You're going to fold the two outermost edges. In. Mm -hmm. Got that. And then the two most outer edges in. With that. And then up. Yep. That's it. You feel that it wants yeah, to go yeah. one way rather than the other. Right. Uh, flick it the way it wants to go. Where it goes, put, push the whole thing over. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. It's so weird how Not that quite. works. What? Uh, get it back to that. It's like... Was it? There we go, there we go. Uh, one way it's really loose, right? And Yeah, yeah, yeah. And where all the stuff is, you fold all the stuff over. Okay. So I open it like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Ah. So hold on, like a let's do this. And you want the head away from them, yeah? Or it doesn't matter. So it folds like that. Folds inward. Got that snappage. Mm-hmm. Go like that. Look at that. You taught me something. Nice. Cool. I'm excited to do that. There we go. It also works because if you want to use a gauge.